In this episode of Diary of a Puzzle Gamer, I'm gonna tell you about Sea Anemones, a puzzle published by Pomegranate, and it is 500 pieces, which is not the size of puzzles that I solve most often, but I, I found this one at a thrift store. I picked up the box, I started shaking it, and I heard the beautiful noise of puzzle pieces still in their original bag. If you solve puzzles, you learn to recognize that noise as opposed to, you know, three store pieces being loose in the box. So I decided to give it a try. It was only a couple of bucks and I really enjoyed the, the image on the cover. Anyways, it even satisfied my passion for anything related to Lovecraft just because of the inordinate number of tentacles. It reminded me of the mythos. So I'm, I'm very happy that I decided to give this one a try. Because yes, it turned out that it was new and it also so it was complete and it was a real joy to solve. I solved it here in my lovely puzzle table that bring me that bring me so much happiness. Now, the the puzzle is pomegranate. The pieces are pretty large. Basically, the size is almost the size of a regular pomegranate 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 puzzle uh, of a thousand pieces but it's 500 so each is larger but also very very nice and thick uh, the connections are uh, tight enough are tight enough yeah okay if you just lift a corner you won't be able to lift the whole puzzle but if I wanted to move sections of the puzzle around as I solved that uh, it was perfectly able to do so they wouldn't fall apart so they held together just uh, nicely enough for for me to solve it without uh, being annoyed by the by the production so the fit was tight enough and the shapes and the colors made it really just the right level of challenge because yes you have many areas that are similar uh, to one another such as the background but not too many and when it comes to different patterns when you really are looking at it closely then you're able of course to tell which sea anemone you're working on these lines being quite distinctive from those lines from these lines from these other lines uh, some other ones maybe not so much but in general I was able to sort it by color and then by pattern and then well it was it was nice and fun to solve of course this area was the least challenging because you have water but you also have these horizontal lines that will help you a lot with the orientation I can see them that they are they help you a lot with the orientation because of course some of these other things the orientation is a little more ambiguous just due to the tentacular the tentacular nature but again, so you have clusters of patterns, each being maybe like 30, 40 pieces. So you can almost think of it as a collection of mini puzzles, which makes, again, for a very reasonable challenge. So it was uh, relaxing, not particularly hard, but still fun and satisfying. And really there is an otherworldly, strange beauty to this image. It really is Lovecraftian in a sense. There's something just a little strange and mysterious and I like that very much so this definitely was a lucky find for a puzzle that proved to be complete that was great for the very little money that I paid for it and of course again it was fun to solve which ultimately is the most important things of them all oh there you go you see the price there that I paid for it very very reasonable for the fun that I had solving this one